people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and the Steel Wool announcement for the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary has just been revealed, and it is Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic! They have just released a teaser debut, a less than minute long, what appears to be teaser trailer for the project. I was sat here expecting some DLC for Help Wanted 2, but... Nope, it seems like this is a brand new game. During Docco's interview with Scott Cawthon for the anniversary a couple days ago, Scott did say a brand new game from Steel Wool was in the works. Apart from the second movie to look forward to, is there anything else you could hint at uh, for the future? Any future titles or any little hints uh, to get people excited for the future? One of one of the one of the good things is going to be coming from Steel Wool, but that's going to be announced here in this same week that your interview is going to air. So, I think that that's it, it, in fact I'm not sure if it was right before this or right after this. Yeah, it might have been right after this. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Okay, okay. And <clears throat> and there is another game planned with Steel Wool, but that's not going to be announced for a while yet. So I I'm, I can't talk about that. But there is something down the pipe. But the way he talked about it made it seem like whatever that game was, was not going to be revealed and released for quite some time. So I was really expecting, like I said, Help Wanted 2 DLC, or you know, something small for this announcement. But no, this is absolutely crazy. The freaking Mimic's back. Scott said that during the interview, but the Mimic is back baby okay the description for the trailer says to see the future sometimes you need to understand the past a brand new original nightmare in the five nights at freddy's universe so it seems that this is an origin story for the freaking mimic oh my god that is crazy all right let's check out this trailer because i've not seen it yet okay i hope the volume's good i'm gonna stand back in case i scream what we got here oh what is that it's like a music box for the Mimic. Don't, are you gonna show me the Mimic? What is that? Wait, what was that? FNAF Secret of the Mimic 2025. Steel Wool. Oh my god, so the Mimic, the dude's got his own music box. What the frick is this? It is playing like the traditional FNAF puppet music box theme song. Right, you hear that? The Grandfather Clock, I believe it's called. And then... Dude, is that the Mimic? Is that the freaking Mimic? He's in like a clown jester costume. I believe... So if you guys don't know, the Mimic, before he was in Ruin, originated from the epilogues in the Tales from the Pizzaplex novel. And in Ruin, there are other costumes for the Mimic. Obviously, he has like the Gregory costume of all the costumes fused together, but there's also like an elephant, there's a bird, uh, I think there's a lion as well. But if I remember correctly, and lore heads, feel free to correct me in the comments because I have not read any of the Tales epilogues, even with the surprising reveal of the Mimic in Ruin, I believe the Mimic was originally a jester or like their costume was originally a jester costume so the fact that we're now seeing this is insane dude i, I really was not expecting a reveal like this i uh, i was expecting something you know small like i hope wanted two dlc but this is this is straight up i mean it has to be a brand new game it has to be is this gonna like this can't take place at the pizza plex right at least not during Ruin, because that's way after a security breach. It, you know, the description says to look to the future, we have to go to the past. So, where are we going to be in this brand new game? Is this the carnival game? It can't be, right? No shot. I mean, no matter what, god damn, dude. Like, this is an insane, insane reveal. I'd love to know, what do you guys think on the secret of the Mimic? I know a lot of people were expecting either Fall Fest or Carnival or, like I was thinking, some Hope Wanted 2 DLC, but this is the brand new game. It seems like this is the brand new game that Scott was teasing during the during the interview, and oh my god, what a freaking surprise this is. This is just so crazy. This is so crazy. How How is this game gonna go? How is this game gonna go? Like I said, I've not read the epilogues, so I don't really know too much about the origins of the Mimic. I know it has something to do with, like, the storyteller and some big tree in the Pizzaplex, but I feel like... I feel like whatever this game is, it's gonna take place before the Pizzaplex. Or at the very least, during, like, the construction of the building, like we saw in the, uh, the flat mode version of Help Wanted 1. Alright, I'm popping in during editing because people noticed something very, very interesting. So here, 
after the mimic shows up we get his glorious face popping up out of the box we get all of this like film grain and a whole bunch of images flashing uh up on the screen right there it is right there 1979 that is going to be the date that this game takes place during, you know? Making it what I believe to be one of the earliest dates for a FNAF game. You know, FNAF 2 takes place 1987, FNAF 1 takes place like early 1980s as well, but 70s, this is something that we have never ever seen before to my knowledge in the game. If you look at the Fall Fest poster, that does say 1970, and that is also one of the earlier dates in the uh, timeline as well. So I honestly don't think that this is the carnival game. I still feel like they're going to save that for something, you know, save carnival and fall fest for a different game or DLC, and that's going to have the, the balloon circus characters. I still think that's going to happen, but I do think we're going to see teases of that carnival and fall fest in this game because it's around the same time. Also, Steel Wool did talk about making a game about the origins of Fazbear Entertainment in a Game Jolt interview like a year or two ago now, and they said that was going to take place in the 70s as well. I don't think that this is it. I don't- it seems like this game is focusing mainly on the Mimic instead of Fazbear Entertainment and William and Henry and all that stuff. I think this game is still mostly going to be about the Mimic, but again, it's super interesting that we're going back to this time period. So I think this is going to be still a very big lore-heavy game, but I do still think there's going to be another Carnival game after this, and that's going to connect the origin of Fazbear Entertainment. That's going to have a bit more of Fall Fest and the Carnival. And it also is worth theorizing, are we going to see... Fred Bear and Fred Bear's Family Diner in this game. Like I've said a billion times already, this is one of the earliest dates in the timeline so far. Fred Bear's, I don't think we know exactly when it was open, but I do think it's going to be around this time. So I think us getting at least some sort of Fred Bear tease is extremely, extremely likely. How they incorporate that is going to be very significant because we got teased a whole bunch of Fred Bear stuff for Security Breach during the lead up to that game, and we, we, you know, we got the game, and it was just a couple of posters. It wasn't really thing, it, it wasn't anything special. But with this game, I do think we're gonna get something bigger. I think Steel Wolf saw that people were disappointed with the Fredbear stuff we got in Security Breach, so I do think there's going to be another big teaser for that as well. Basically, all I'm saying is this is going to be a massive, massive game. The origin of the Mimic, and then a few teases for Carnival, Fall Fest, Fred Bears, like all that big stuff, you know? And this is yet another project releasing next year for 2025. We got this, we've got the Dead by Daylight collab, we've got T-Jock, the full game, we've got Five Laps at Freddy's, the full game, we've got the FNAF movie. It seems like next year is like a better year for FNAF projects than this year for the 10th anniversary. It is... It is absolutely crazy, man. I was not expecting this at all. Like I said, I'd love to know what are your guys' thoughts, what are your predictions for this game. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So that's going to do it for this quick announcement on FNAF Secret of the Mimic. I'll probably go live to discuss with you guys whatever this game is going to be, as well as talk about um, yesterday's reveal of Dead by Daylight. So it is a crazy crazy time for the FNAF anniversary. We still have more days in the week as well. We got the Five Laps at Freddy's demo releasing tomorrow. That releases at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Click Team has confirmed that. And then we also have Into the Pit releasing in just a few days as well for the 10th anniversary on the 8th. We've also got all the movie teasers. Like, dude, this week has been absolutely, absolutely insane, but... I'm going to do the outro now because I want to talk to you guys about this reveal. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.